Hello again everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at an important piece of an Oracle database and it has to do with something called a commit and a rollback. And in order to really understand these things we're going to have to take a look at something called a transaction. One of the challenges that you have when you're working with an Oracle database, or any database for that matter, is the concept of sometimes you want a whole bunch of modifications to the database to go in in one shot or you want none of them. You never want to have some of them to go in and some of them not to go in. And that's where this concept of a transaction comes into play. Transaction is a complete set of, of, of updates to your database. Could be inserts, could be updates, could be deletes. It's a complete set of things that you want to do to your database that you want to treat as one whole thing. You don't want it to be part of uh, part of what you're talking about to go into the database and part of what you're talking about to not go into the database. And the example that virtually every book in the world uses is like a bank example. So let's say I have a couple of different bank accounts. You know, let's say I have a savings account and I have a checking account. And each one of them has a hundred bucks in it. So I go to the ATM and I'm going to put a little uh, clock here on the side of the on the side of my screen here. I go to the ATM and I do a couple of transactions. I, I put in my ATM card and I do a couple of things. So let's say at four o'clock I move $20 from savings to checking. So my savings goes down to 80 and my checking goes to 120. At 401, I then take out $40 for myself out of my savings account. So then I got 40 and I still got 120 there. So I have $40 in my hand. I changed money around into my checking account, and I walk away from the ATM. We want to treat all of these different pieces as one transaction, particularly this one here, where I made changes to both savings and checking. I never want part of this transaction to go through and part of it not to go through. So let's say my database is set up. Let me try and scroll this here if I can figure out how to do this. Look at that. My database is set up so that at 4 o'clock when I do this transaction, both of these things I want to happen simultaneously, right? I want to debit $20 out of here and I want to add twenty dollars to my checking account and both of these happen have to happen simultaneously what happens if in the middle of the processing for whatever reason the database crashes the power goes out uh, you know there's there's some weird thing that happens here I never want it to get to the point where I get debited my twenty dollars but it doesn't get shown up over here the next time I look at my statement I go you know what the heck happened here I, I the, it, it took $20 out of my savings, but it never added the $20 to my checking. The two things that happen here have to happen simultaneously. And that's where Oracle comes in with this concept of a transaction. Transaction basically says, I'm not going to commit any of these things to the database until everything's done, and once everything is done, everything's in place, absolutely, then instantaneously I'll commit both of these things to the database simultaneously. So Oracle has this mechanism built into it called the transaction and what it means is that we have to actually commit our changes to the database once we uh, update things in our database they don't happen simultaneously it's not automatically inside my database it may look like it is but it's not really there inside my database until I actually commit it and I also have the ability to go in there and say you know what I made a mistake I didn't really want to do this I want to roll back my transaction I can certainly do that also so let's take a look at this in practice. So I'm going to hop into SQL Developer here, and I'm going to look at my HR tables. So I go into my other users, 
and HR. If you've been looking at my other videos, uh, we, we've been working with some of the HR tables there. And one of the HR tables that I created uh, was one called Music. So there's my Music table. And as soon as this comes up, it's running a little slow today for some reason. Not enough horsepower on my laptop. But eventually this will come up in a second, and we'll get to see all of the data that's inside my database. Wow, that really is running slow today. i got a virtual machine running in the background, so I think that's what's chewing up all the cycles. So let's click on Data, and we'll get to see all of the data in this particular table. So you can see there's all the data in my table. Let's say I go through and I delete some data out of my table. I'm going to delete everything that has a title equal to temp. So let's go in here swipe this out and I'm gonna say delete from hr.music where title equal to temp. I execute this command four rows deleted. So if I go into music here and I requery this table all the temps are gone. But like we said, they're not really gone yet. I haven't committed this transaction to the database. For my session, Oracle is smart enough to say, OK, you want to delete this. So if you're going to query that guy, even though you haven't really committed it yet, I'm going to act as if those rows aren't there. So when I query it, you can see those rows, are in fact, aren't there. But just to prove that they really still are there, I'm going to hop into command prompt here. I'm going to hop into a completely different session. And I'm going to select star from HR music. And when I do that, you can see that we still have those temp values in here. There's temp, there's temp, there's temp, there's temp. Hasn't deleted those records out of the database yet. So this is an example of how Oracle makes you do things in two steps. You have to actually execute com your command. Now, I can execute other commands against this also. Let's say I want to update, um, let's say I want to update Lou Reed's album to give it a different rating. So I can say update hr.music set rating equal to 1, where artist last name, whoops, spell it right, last name is equal to read. I execute that, one row updated, I query music again, and you can see that Lou Reed's Metal Machine Music has been updated to 1, still not really in the database. If I query the database again, Lou Reed, Metal Machine Music, still really a zero. This is really what's in the database. It seems like I'm getting different values here, but this is based on the session that I'm logged into right now. So it says Lou Reed's Metal Machine Music equals one, but in the real part of the database, you can see it's still a zero. These changes don't come in to my database until I actually commit them. So if I go back into Sandbox here, you can see I have this little icon with a check mark next to the database. And if I leave my pointer over it, it says commit. I can also say commit here, like that. Execute that command. Changes are now committed to my database. So you can see now they're committed. So now if I go back into here and I execute that command again, Lou Reed Metal Machine Music 1, and you can see I also don't have any uh, records here with a title that is temp. So let's say I want to up, update uh, John Lennon's Imagine to 8. So I'm going to update HR Music set rating equal to 9, where title equals Imagine. Execute that command. One row updated. Go into Music query that guy again. And you can see Imagine has gone from 8 to a 9. If I didn't want to do that, if I said, oh, you know, I made a mistake, I didn't really want to execute that, instead of committing the transaction into my database, I just say, rollback. 
and you can see that I have this little icon here that does the same thing. It's a little uh, disk representation with an arrow basically saying rollback or else I can use the F12 key. Do rollback, and I do commit enter. You can see it says rollback complete. I requery this guy. Imagine goes back to an 8 and it never got changed in the database so if I query everything from here again you can see that John Lennon Imagine still has an 8 rating. So commits and rollbacks really powerful way for you to treat a whole bunch of different things inside of an Oracle database as a single entity. I want the entire transaction to go through. I want none of the transaction to go through. That's a very important piece of working with an Oracle database.